Okay, now this next subject that I'm going to bring up should probably be a big shock and very worrisome for most Windows users. Because, um, right now, you are vulnerable when you surf the internet uh, of finding a uh, planted and malicious search result on Google or Yahoo going to that result and having a rootkit installed on your machine I'll, hopefully we'll explain what a rootkit is before I'm done and as a result your machine can be used uh, as a part of a botnet but it also can be used uh, or but also once it's compromised the individual that uh, is able to control your computer remotely can uh, uh, gather your personal information and uh, incorporated into his massive database that uh, he is gathering and, you, and then he may sell that for whatever reason and then um, additionally your computer can be used as <clears throat> a piece of weaponry to attack other sites on the internet and you won't know a thing about it and even if you have antivirus software in there it's not going to detect it um, and no matter what you do, whatever little tools you get, hijack this, whatever it is, or you know, <laughs> malware bytes, it's it's not going to be able to get rid of the malware that's installed in your system. You'll think it might be, but it won't, and you're vulnerable. And I'm going to say just right now that the the operating system you choose to surf the net with is a choice that is that now you have to consider your responsibility as a part of the internet when you do so unfortunately um, if you choose any flavor of windows you're probably making a choice that's helping this whole just horribly irresponsible scheme out there that, that that'll point you in the direction to find you know people explain what actually is happening um, uh, to take place so um that's the deal and unfortunately that's the way it is now I'll explain and it sounds like a blanket statement from a Lynx user that wants to it's desperate to convert his, his, his people from Windows and is a lying schemer. Well, this one I'm not lying about. And as far as I, you know, I, I've never aimed to, to lie about any of these operating systems. I've been pretty honest about what's disappointed me in Linux, and I've been honest about what, what I think has worked. And that's the way I'm going to be, and that's what I'm, I mean, straight with you right now. Right now. now, there's such a creature as a botnet out there, and basically what happens to the end user and as explained in one of these videos, the one I couldn't find, is that you'll you as in, you know, just a generic person, the person I'm talking to, uh, will do a search for either the hot topic of the day, you know, maybe some actor died or got caught and thrown in jail, so you want to search and read more about it. You do that search. Meanwhile, there's uh, uh, some people on the internet that are with ill intent that have already they they know what these hot searches are but people everybody you know statistically speaking there's you know there's going to be a number one set of words people are searching for and a number two and a number three well google lists those things and yahoo lists those things they take these lists and it could, and even if those lists didn't exist, they'd still take things that are just commonly searched for. They take those lists, and they create uh, from the compromise the machines they've compromised. They create a um, a fake web page. So when Google and Yahoo go out and search for content and web pages that that they use so that people when they do these searches will find those web pages um, will appear you know they, they make these fake web pages designed to appear in the top 10 or top 20 
hits when you search at Google. When you click on that web page, it'll either not really do anything, or it'll take you to this thing where you have to it says you have to download Codex, or suddenly an uh, antivirus. 2010, 9, 8, 2011 will pop up and say your computer's compromised, etc., etc. And what will end up happening is that, um, you know, it'll even it'll even offer to let you pay them for the privilege of getting rid of the very, you know, but it, it won't actually get rid of the virus if you pay them. That's just their way of stealing your credit card number. And then if you decide to keep rolling with this thing, Maybe you go, you know, you try to go to malware bytes and this, that, and the other place, and you might be able to get the pop up to stop coming up. But the thing that you can't see is the um, piece of software that allows someone to remotely remote control control your computer um, to steal all your information, including your passwords when you and, and you know put up a fake uh, login screen for your bank. Um, capture your emails and you know whoever is doing this thing is is collecting data for whatever per criminal purposes they may have in mind but you're the victim and in the meantime also if that person that's running this botnet decides they don't like YouTube they may just decide to take it down after typing in a few commands at the command line they have an awful lot of power and the power that they have is based upon the number of computers they've infected and there's usually these botnets have about 60,000 computers across the world that are infected and they type that command and then you sit and then that command causes your computer to send uh, a certain amount of unnoticeable to you of network traffic to a site that's targeted targeted and, and you can actually take the site down Microsoft was taken down um, 2008 there you know there's been a number of attacks on different various websites to take them down now to show you that I'm not making this up so I'm gonna go back to see some of my search results here this all started when a guy that was called Botman decided to release his bots into the wild and was completely irresponsible. And there's some people that get on here, get on YouTube and showcase how they have a website set up so you can download your own, your own bot toolkit. And I'm telling you, it's putting guns in the hands of people who don't know what the fuck they're doing and they're really messing things up. The volume of spam that's out there is higher than it ever was before. And all this spam is being created by all these machines that are compromised. I can say that without any doubt. In fact, I'm going to stop here so I can find that other video and not go for 20.